Hi everyone. Meet Raj. He is 45. Has been on hemodialysis for last two years. Every other day, four hours, hooked up to a machine. He waits anxiously for a kidney donor, but may or may not comes in time. What if there was another way? One that offers 24/7 kidney functions without waiting list, immunosuppressions, or machine hookups. That's where artificial kidney comes in. Today, we will be talking about future. Can artificial kidney truly replace the kidney transplant? What are the latest advances? What are the obstacles? And what could this really means for people like Raj? So the first question is, what is artificial kidney? At its core, it's a device which mimics both the filtration, that is removing of the waste, balancing electrolytes and fluid, and metabolic functions like some reabsorptions and secretions. Some design also incorporate living kidney cells. For example, there are wearable peritoneal dialysis devices, portable hemodialysis machines, fully implantable artificial kidneys. Uh, they are under development from so many other countries. How far along we are, the science and the trials. Let's talk about them. The kidney project, which is a USA project, is developing an implantable artificial kidney with two parts: a hemofilter for the ultrafiltrations and a bioreactor with kidney cells. It will connect. The bloodstream device bladder uses the bladder pressure for flow. No external power is required. Animal tests have been shown promising functions. Clinical trial in humans are targeted to begin in 45 years. Though timeline depends upon funding and scaling issues. Wearable and the portable systems, for example, devices like Singapore Awake and Vivens, Malaysia Peritogen Touch Weekend. System portable hemodialysis systems like Next Kidneys, Neo Kidneys, and they reduces dependency on dialysis centers, improve mobility, regeneration of the diacetate so that the fluid does not need frequent replacement and lowering power or water needs are important engineering advances which is happening throughout the world. Transplant is still have advantage. A transplanted kidney where successful can fully restore many of the kidney functions, including. The endocrine functions, that is the hormone regulations, with a lower daily burden than dialysis or device. Immunological challenges are there. Risk of the rejections, need for the immunosuppressions, with its all side effects including infections, uh, metabolic issues. Now, the was the most important thing is the organ supply is limited. There are long wait list. Quality of the donor kidneys can vary. Now, the question is, can artificial kidney replace the transplant realistically? What they can do in the near future reduces or delay need for full transplant, improve the overall quality of life, allow more mobility, and decrease the daily associated risk. What they cannot do fully replace the functions like endocrine functions, completely remove the immunological issues. Also, safety, long-term durability is a question. Cost, which is very remarkable, and regulatory approval from major hurdles. 2024 overview in the American Journal of the Kidney Disease reviewed a portable, wearable, and implantable technologies, many showing promises in pre-clinical or early human feasibility, but none yet proven to be match transplant outcome, especially in the long-term survival. Now, the key questions to the public often has: Is it safe? So far, early animal models are safe. Human safety trial is pending. Bioreactor designs aim to avoid immune rejections by using the membrane that blocks the immune cell while letting toxin cross. Now the question is: Will I still have to take medications? Possibly yes. Even artificial kidney under development does not yet produce erythropoietin, so anemia management is still required. Immunosuppressions may be reduced, not needed to be depending upon design. When will it be available? Is the other question. Not tomorrow. Not day after. Implantable versions, 45 years for the human trial, and this is optimistic attitude. Wearable and the portable devices are closer, but they still need regulatory approval. Now, the most important thing is the cost. Probably, is uh, this is not an initial issues. Over time, cost may come down. Might be more cost effective than long-term dialysis, depending upon the health system we are in. Now, Raj here about these implantable artificial kidney, and he met. Dr. Arif, who explained, you are not eligible for a living donor, and wait times are long. But a device under trial may give you much of the kidney functions, decreases the dialysis visit, let you travel, reduce the infection rate. Now, the Raj debate is risk of new technology versus chances of transplant. In 34 years, 
perhaps Raj might be eligible for the implant trial. Until then, the best strategy is optimizing the medical therapy, dialysis, staying healthy to be trials plant ready. What this really means is artificial kidneys are in the advancing stage. They won't fully replace transplant yet, but for many patients, they could become an alternative or an adjunct. Transplant remains gold standard when possible, but devices may bridge a gap for those without donor with contraindications or while they are on the waiting list. For Raj and minions like him, the future is more hopeful, but we must navigate safety, cost, regulations, and long-term outcome. Now, the important question is, can artificial kidney replace transplant? Not yet fully, but the gap is closing and for people who cannot get a transplant right away or even after device might be just reshaped what living with kidney disease means. Thank you.